Hi everyone, it's Brittany. 大家好，我是 Brittany. In this video, I want to share with you how do you get better with your 2D shuffle. This is the most common question and most frequent asked question. But before I want to, before I jump into this trick, I want to share with you guys that recently my team we are training so hard, so hard. So not only with my job, we also、um, have to train. During weekends, because we have a very big competition going on, which is、um, we have a city audition, and a, you, we can only pick one to represent your city and join the、um, the national competition, which is the biggest Diablo competition in Taiwan, and we are represent Taipei City and. Just being pretty tiring lately, and the weather is not good, so I feel like. It. Uh, it's a little bit exhausted. I can do a live stream if there's the other teacher go with me, and the other teacher can look,、um, can take care of the players, and it can go upstairs, and it kind of can streaming there, and you guys can see the big competition there. It's like the biggest one, and then the kids they can win some, they can win some money, and it's just fun. It's like I hope you guys can see it. So we will see in October. Mid October, and to see if that one is, if that one is happening. Okay, so now I'm gonna share with you how do you、um, get better with your 2D. How exactly do you do it? So if you are learning 2D shuffle and you can shuffle more than five seconds or ten、mm, seconds, if you can shuffle more than ten seconds and you want to get better, I recommend that you don't keep doing shuffle because for some reason. If you keep shuffling, your rhythm will be messed up for some reason. So I recommend that you don't shuffle all the time. If you can shuffle for ten seconds, you can just jump into two D tricks. So there are two tricks I want to share today that look like this. So you can kind of do the two D shuffle, right? And the first trick I want you to do is for the the leg balance. So you just raise your right leg. And lower your two hands. Oops! And you hold it right here. I didn't do it very well. And you toss with your left hand, and you lower your weight. Toss, and you go down. So that's the one thing. You toss one up and lower your hands. Actually, you don't necessarily have to toss one high, but if you can toss one up, that'll be pretty nice because it's this one. This is an important move. That you have to you have to know if you want to be good at two D. So three, two, one. You can lower your hands. So see if my hand is high, the yo yo is close to my thigh. So if my hands are low, it's nice and stable. And the the red one is on my left hand side. I just fling one up, and I can continue shuffling. Wait, so. You know, I was just doing the super old school one. Now you can see everybody adjust their 2D. They are touching cups like that, right? So if you are doing 2D like this way and one is turning this way, you can touch the cup exactly the same way how you touch 1D like that, and you can adjust your 2D back. But when I was young, how I first started Diablo is not like this. This type of Diablo is the traditional one. So we have to learn to control it with our left hand. While you are tossing that diablo, you move your hand back and forth quickly, and to adjust the cups to make it balance. And I, I just do it as a habit, and I look, I know I look a little bit odd. So anyway, the first thing you can practice is do the shuffle a couple times, and then you do the leg balance, and you come back down. Do another ten seconds. Okay. That's the first thing you practice, and number two, you can practice while you want to get even better at two D shuffle is the、um, the golden stick thing. You also can do one, two, ten times, and then your right hand be ready. You just hold it right here, stable it. When you are ready to let the right one down, you toss. That's the one you can also get stable with your two D one, two, three. Hold it right here. And then swing back up. 
okay? That is the two thing if you want to get better with your 2D shuffle. Do the shuffle, do that two easy trick and then shuffle and trick, shuffle and trick. At the same time, you will develop these two things, good at shuffling and also learn two tricks, right? So why not? And also if you are just get your Diablo and you want to progress, you want to follow the schedule, I, I have two different courses for you. One is Diablo full course. I put a hundred tricks in there. You can check that one out down below. And the other one is Master Diablo in 30 days. That one, the important part about that one is the training plan that you don't learn one trick like 2D, you don't keep shuffling 2D, you mix with different things, you can develop some skills at the same time. And as time goes on, that, you know, you first, you don't even know that, that you train it, you don't even know that you practice that arm muscle, which is already happening because I give out a different training. Master Diablo in 30 days is for my new member that if they want to, if they join a team or they're new to the Diablo, that's exactly the same um, training plan that I give them. That one highest is to go to the 2D and also the vertex and 360, that kind of stuff. So if you are, um, if you are looking for 3D or um, the higher the fast trick, you might have to wait a little bit because our um, schedule is pretty tight right now that we don't have time to do this. Thing. So, but I'll figure that out. I will, I will invite some friends and stuff. Hopefully that we can have another um, online teaching course for you guys. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.